All right, we're on 2.2. So we're adding and subtracting rational expressions. Our last section was multiply and divide. We're switching to add and subtract. So the first step is we want to factor. So all of these are already factored. There's no factoring to do on this one. So I'm just going to write out the steps. Step one, nothing to factor. Okay. There's not as much factoring in this one as multiply and divide. Step two, find the common denominator. So you have to think back to fractions when you were doing them in like elementary school. When the denominators are not the same, you have to find one that makes them the same. Okay, so I'm going to do like Another example over here from like elementary school, like if I were taking one third plus one fourth, my common denominator would be 12. Okay, I multiply them by each other. And what you do on the bottom, you have to do on the top. So for this example, it would actually be four twelfths plus three twelfths. And then when you add only the top, changes and now you have seven twelfths okay so that's just random example with just numbers let's go back to this but it's the same concept that x plus one i'm going to multiply by x because that's what's on the other side okay so what you do to the bottom you have to do to the top and then this x i'm going to multiply by x plus one because that's what's on the other fraction all right, so now I'm going to simplify this up a little bit. Now I have x times x minus 2, which is x squared minus 2x over x squared plus x. Plus, here I have 3x plus 3, and then same denominator, right? It's common. All right, step three is add or subtract along the numerator only. So step three, the denominator doesn't change, just like our 12s don't change. So we're only adding on the top. I have x squared minus 2x plus 3x plus 3. But my denominator, it's the same, but we're just going to write it once. Okay, it's the same on both fractions. Just like the 12, we had two in our answer, it's just one. And now we're going to simplify, and that means combining like terms on our numerator. So I have x squared, and then I have right here negative 2x plus 3x is 1x, and then the plus 3, and then the bottom stays. So sometimes you can factor back. So I'm going to, I can't do that on this one. I can't factor the x squared because that's just 3 and 1 and everything's positive. I would have to add them to get 4. So this one I can't factor, but it's always good to check and see if you can because sometimes things cancel out at the end. So that would be our answer.